there's a very good chance that ice baths might be the trendiest thing ever on YouTube in the health and fitness niche. Everybody and their dog is doing it. And once somebody's done one, I don't know why, but they think they're a cold water immersion expert. Is there something actually to this ice bath trend or is it just hype? I'm gonna let you know what I've discovered in 30 days of doing ice baths. And that's not like doing a few ice baths in 30 days, that's doing 30 days worth of ice baths. I am not an expert though. Yes, I have been in the health and fitness industry for over 20 years as a corrective exercise specialist and a performance exercise specialist, but I'm not a doctor and I'm not a scientist. This is just what I've experienced. After doing a month's worth of ice baths, I can say for me, ice baths have a cumulative effect. Okay. I didn't see all you know, the benefits 55. after my first four minute plunge, but I did see one. Bad. And I've continued to see it each and every yes, time I get out. Oh, shit. And that's just an overwhelming sense of peace and good vibes. I am an incredibly stressed out person. There's not a moment in my day where I just sit and think while everything's crumbling around me, everything's gonna be fine. But the moment I get out of an ice bath and can kind of just chill in the sun, that's exactly how I feel. And it lasts for a good 30 to 60 minutes. If I can be honest with you, ever since this stupid injury happened, I've been rather depressed, unmotivated, uninspired. But I will say doing these consistent ice baths really have kept me going. If you've been following me for a little while, you know that before this stupid injury, I was training like a maniac to win World Masters Championships for Jiu Jitsu. Almost a full time job worth of training, almost 40 hours a week. You can actually watch that video right up here. If you've ever done a Jiu Jitsu class before, you know just how exhausting it is. You lose like five pounds of sweat because you're wearing this massive heavy cotton robe and the professor for some reason likes to torture you by raising the thermostat up and then you're riddled with contusions from where people's knees and elbows went into your bones. I had like five rolls. I think I videoed two of them. The other three were great. They were very hard and I'm very smashed and my neck is very tight. That's after one class and I was doing 10 classes per week. You'd think that getting into an ice bath would just be the best thing ever after that, but not for me. Like I said, they're painful and they give me anxiety. But when you do get out of an ice bath, you get this surge of endorphins, a second wind, a second wind I would normally get in the afternoon with the use of caffeine. Something pretty cool about the Whoop is that you can actually record your live heart rate so it's been fun being able to watch this drop down and trying to control it but is that 110 bpm got it to drop down into the low 60s i know i don't have the neck brace on but trust me i'm fine it's just it's soaking wet and i don't have extra pads part of that recovery process though was my hrv or your heart rate variability heart rate variability really is just a measure of how ready you are for stress. The ice baths allowed me to recover better from those hard training sessions. And because I was recovering better, that meant I could do more sessions. And because I was doing more sessions, more volume of work, my fitness level was going up. And that is like the single greatest factor in raising that HRV. So despite having an average daily strain score jump almost three points from 14 to 17, I was having more green recoveries than ever before. And the last reason you'd want to do an ice bath, oh my God, that's cold and it's painful. 
I've said many times already in this video that ice baths are cold, they're painful, and they give me anxiety. I don't want to do it. That's the exact reason you should do it. Doing things you don't want to do that suck build up resiliency. And I think resiliency is a very enviable and valuable quality. Maybe by now you're convinced that you need to do an ice bath, but you're wondering, where do I get an ice bath? Well, there are a lot of options. I actually just did a review of this one. This is the Energize ice bath and I love it. And that's because you never have to get ice. If you wanna see a full review of this video, you can just click right over here somewhere. Anyway, also, can you do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe? That would mean a lot to me. Thanks. I'll catch you later. Peace.